This is a broken gaming PC. And it's not only just a broken gaming PC, it's a good friend of mine that I grew up with. Um, normally, I try to do random fixes of PCs occasionally on this channel. And if you guys wanna see more of this, just drop a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, whatever. But yeah, so this is a PC that my friend's gonna be using basically for workstation, like office stuff. Um, so we're not doing any major, major upgrades or anything, but apparently it doesn't turn on or it power cycles. So we're gonna actually jump into that and start diagnosing this PC. Turn the light on for you. Ta-da! Hey bud, we're going to get something in the snowstorm. Before I get to the fix, let me just say that there's been a few weeks, and I'm sure all of you have felt this way, since the new 50 series launch where every part has been affected. The used market, left and right has been affected, all sorts of stuff. And just the other day, I went out to make some content for you guys. I trenched through the storm. It was actually a snowstorm that was happening to go get this little PC. And the woman had advertised it with a motherboard in it. And unfortunately, when I picked it up, there was no motherboard in it. They took it out. And I'm like, man, this motherboard is probably so old that taking it out is not even worth your time. The only reason why I mention it is it just kind of feels like in today's date, everything has some sort of a catch. And it's been like that and only getting worse. You know what happened? We went there, and there was another cat there, and they took all the stuff out. That's right, they stole it. So basically what's going on with this PC, he claims that it essentially turns off um, or power cycles right away. And he's actually pretty smart. He went and bought a power supply. And when I heard about this situation, I bought a power supply, a very, budget orientated 500 watt. And he came to me today and he was like, I bought a power supply. This is a 1000 watt Asus power supply. So I told him if it is the power supply that I will not use this and I'll use this. And he's like, no, 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 donate it to the channel if we don't need power like this. And uh, I just feel wrong taking it. So we're gonna be using this PSU if it is a PSU. Um, but the situation changes a little, but I'll get into that in a bit. It's about five years old or more at this point. The actual motherboard is a Z97, so this is a lot older. Uh, we have a 1660 Super. This is a pretty nice card still, even though, you know, it's not like super relevant today. It's still a nice visually looking cool card. But um, when they get to this age, the motherboard is a huge problematic part. They start to fail at this age. Um, you know, when you get to eight years old, it's like, I think this board could be even 10 years old at this point. Z87 actually came out in 2013. This thing is like 12 years old, technically. We powered on, I don't see any lights on the motherboard. So let's just try to hit the button. Yeah, we're getting absolutely no power at all. Actually, I am seeing power here on the GPU. Let me show you guys. All right, we're gonna start this over here, powering it on. Um, he did actually take this power supply out already because he was trying to diagnose it himself before hitting me up. Thanks, bro. I actually appreciate people that do that sometimes, if they know what they're doing. Um, right here, we can see that there's actually power to the GPU and there's just no lights on the motherboard. I don't remember this board having lights, so um, I'm actually a little bit worried. Oh, it did power on this time. That was weird. I did not expect that. So we are powered on. Let me unplug this here. So, all right, so it turned off. All right, so what it's doing is pretty much power cycling, which is exactly what he had mentioned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this power supply down here and we're gonna test it. And I wanna say thank you to you guys because basically, get this out, you guys essentially bought me this through AdSense um, in the recent scammer video where I was catching the guy who has been scamming 4090s all over Massachusetts and Nashua. So um, that paid for this and thank you. So I'm not gonna lie, this might have not been one of my finer days of cable management. I know that he did take some of this stuff out, but I remember this case being sort of tight. He's got a bunch of, a bunch of hard drives down here. We have this terrible old thermal take thing here. Like this thing was absolutely awful. Um, yeah, so let me just 
kind of undo all this zip tying I did yesteryear, years back. And we'll pull this power supply out and we'll throw it on that thermal take tester to see what happens. All right, got the power supply plugged in. There's also a weird little zap sound going on there, but uh, that's probably, probably an indicator. So let's test it right now. You ready guys? All right, we have power. Turn it on. And so far it's actually looking to be okay. Five on the five volt, 3.3, 3.41 on the 3.3 volt, 12. So actually, I got a feeling we might have a bad motherboard. So let's just power this off and turn it back on one more time. So what happens with this is that's the power off right here. If we go all the way over, that's off. Sometimes, by the way, some power supplies will fail. Um, if you test them multiple times in a row, they'll fail turning off and on again. That would be causing a power cycle. But um, yeah, let's see. Regardless of this PSU being good or not, I am going to replace the PSU, but I kind of expected the motherboard to be having some sort of an issue, to be honest. So because this is passing, that's a pretty good indicator that the motherboard has crapped the bed. So I'm actually kind of lucky because just recently I bought an older Z97 setup off my friend Min. You guys know Min, friend of the channel. Um, so right here, this test bench that was running the screen behind me actually is a Z97 motherboard. Um, I don't usually get them too much more, like too often anymore. So this is kind of really lucky. So I just sent him a video telling him basically he should probably return this. Uh, I'm not gonna charge him for swapping the motherboard. This is the motherboard that I bought off of Min. Um, technically I got it for a really, really good deal. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, I am gonna have him swap this out and just because i don't know like even though this is technically passing maybe there is an issue with it it is an older power supply so we're going to pull that power supply out throw the new one in and uh let's see if that motherboard will work with the cpu in it and yeah troubleshooting 101. what do you guys think was i a really good friend and gave him a 4790k or was I like an i5 guy back then? I don't remember. Let's see. i7 4790K, cool. I was a cool dude, guys, I was a cool dude. Also really quick, I have a lot of mismatched memory, which is something I had did years ago, mostly on like budget stuff. Like DDR3, you can do mismatch because you can always get 1600 or like 1833. And I found some more of these exact same sticks that are here on the side. So I'm gonna give him these sticks instead of these blue ones that I had mismatched all those years ago. We're gonna be using a new battery here. Brand new battery. Pop that in. So normally you don't want these two in if you're just troubleshooting. Actually, technically you just want one. So why don't we just go with one? We'll take these two, put them aside. We'll take this one, put it aside and have the single dim. Maybe there's a dead memory channel or something. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Power it on. And if it tries to power off here, I can guarantee you. Yeah, I think the board is shot. I've seen this a bunch of times with this exact motherboard too, so I'm like not surprised by this. All right, so I did play around with this for a little while. It's not posting normally, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on it because these boards are so cheap at this point that let's just uh, rebuild the machine with the new board. All right, it's everyone's favorite event, installing the graphics card. And as we install the graphics card, just pay attention, make sure you don't break anything, of course. And as you can see here, it looks beautiful. Beautiful graphics card, very beautiful. Oh no, 
Oh no, I'm getting robbed. Yeah. Is that my 5090? <laughs> so obviously that's not my 5090. Uh, my friend actually bought it for a way higher price than he should have, but somebody in his home country of Vietnam really wanted the card and he's good friends with them, so he got it to send to them at that price. Uh, this is probably the only time I'll ever really see one of these for the next year or so, I don't know. So I just wanted to throw it in the video as a joke. So after about a half an hour of cable management and trying to clean out the PC as best as possible, I think it looks pretty good. All right guys, the PC is done and I'm so confident that it's gonna post that I put the back on, which you're never supposed to do that. So let's see if we get a post. We should. There should be no problems with any of this stuff in here. Should be going through the memory training. Looks to be good. There we go. There we go. And it should just go right into Windows 11 because I loaded 11 on here so we don't have to do all that bypass garbage. The pump is a little bit noisy, but that's just because it needs to be shaken up a little bit. It is getting older for an AIO, but because he didn't use this machine that long, um, I think it'll be all right. All right. So real quick, I want to talk about what happened with this build because um, my friend is overly generous and not only did he give me this quite expensive power supply, which he claims he got it for about 80 bucks, but they average about 150 to 180 dollars online this is a gold rated power supply it's a very nice power supply so he gave that to me i was happy with that and then he he literally paid me for my work and i'm over here trying to do a fix or flop episode give him some stuff and he's hooking me up but what ended up happening was he's kind of like sort of commissioning me for some other builds custom water loop and a uh, other office pc which is right back here. So we're gonna be testing that tomorrow and possibly giving it to him. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of the stuff that happens when you get into PC part flipping. You will find people who want other parts or other jobs done, and it just kind of keeps going and going and going. So that's it for this one, but stay tuned if you wanna watch some troubleshooting bonus content now. All right, guys, let's see if it boots. You can do it. You can do it. I might actually have to take the CMOS battery out and clear the CMOS because it, it won't boot if it was stuck. If it thinks it's the old CPU and it thinks that there's no GPU. Actually, let me try this real quick. Memo, okay? <clears throat> so this is his 4790K, all the sticks of RAM. Okay, we got a light. So you guys see those really good thermals right there? That's because there's no thermal paste. So we gotta turn this off real quick. 